I'm Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney. I just earned my badge a few months ago, so I'm still a rookie. Phoenix better not be late to this. I'm here! <sighs> Sorry if I worried you. The trial begins at 10. I sure hope you're ready for it. Yes, thank you for being here. I know how valuable your time is. Of course. I couldn't take you under my wing and then skip out on your big day. You're finally leaving the nest. <laughs> Thanks. Always so ambitious. This is a homicide case. Not many people would take one on for their first trial. I know what I'm getting myself into, boss. But I had to take it, because I owe it to him. To whom? The defendant? Yes. Actually, I've known the guy ever since we were in grade school. He's part of the reason I wanted to be a defense lawyer in the first place. Let's hope you can clear his name. That's my client, good old Larry Butts. He and I go way back, to say the least. This guy inspired you to become a lawyer? You were serious, right? Yes, it's a long story. He's weird, but deep down, he's a stand-up guy. <laughs> he seems to have trouble sitting down. Butts has always been a cheeky one. This court is hereby in session. We have been gathered today to hear the case against Mr. Larry Butts. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Then let us begin with your opening statement, Mr. Payne. Yes, of course. The victim went by the name Cindy Stone. She had a promising international modeling career. It was cut short one afternoon by an act of violence. Her beautiful face bashed in inside her very own apartment. Autopsy reports put the time of death between 4 and 5 p.m. We've identified this statue out of Rodin's The Thinker as the murder weapon, which I would like to submit to the court at this time. Help me, Nikki! <laughs> you gotta let me state my case, man! I can't hang for this! <laughs> The prosecution would now like to call Mr. Butts to the stand, Your Honor. Very well. You may proceed. Hello, Mr. Butts. Now, is it true you'd recently been dumped? Huh? That's a lie! We even had Stony Butts picked out as our celebrity name. That has got to be the stupidest one I've ever heard. She had kind of been ignoring my calls lately, and she stood me up more than a few times. Sorry, but that describes a breakup almost perfectly. Uh, I wasn't dumped! Hmm. So, I should take that to mean you were aware of her recent travels overseas? She went on a trip without me? Of course. Where'd she go? Let's have a look at her passport. It shows the victim returned from New York one day before the murder. We also found a photograph taken on this trip. Huh? That's the thinker. Your Honor, I would also like to submit these items as evidence. I'll accept them. Hey! Hang on just a second, man! Who the hell took that picture? The man with whom she was traveling. Oh, hell no!